I hope you are doing great. So today we will solve univalued binary trick from lead code. You can find the link in description. Okay. Before you watch the video, pause it for a minute. Go through the problem statement thoroughly. Think of an approach. Okay. All right. Now, I'll just quickly go through the problem statement. So here you, they told you are given a binary tree. You need to decide whether it is a univalued or not. So what is a univalued tree? A univalued tree is a tree in which each and every node will contain same value. So here I gave you two examples. Can you tell me is the first one univalued? Yes. Why? Because if you see each and every node has same value that is one. What about the second one? Is it a univalued tree? Definitely no. Why? Because all the nodes are having value of 2 except one node. What is it? 5. So I can say it is not a univalued tree. So you all understood what is a univalued tree, tree, right? But how will we check it? So we can do one thing. Simply take the value of the root node. What is the value of here? 1. And I'll try to pass this one to left subtree and right subtree. If this left subtree contain 1 in each and every node and this right subtree contain 1 in each and every node, then I can call it as a univalued binary tree. The same goes for the second one. Here, what will I pass to left subtree? 2. What will I pass to right subtree? 2. So, this will return true, but this will not return true. Why? Because 5 is there. Whenever it encounters something that is not equal to the value that is passed, it will immediately return false back. So, eventually this will return false. Since this is true and this is false, what should I return back? I have to return false back. So, I am doing AND operation between the left part and right part. Alright. So here I would like to show you the tracing part, how this will happen, okay. So you will send one to the left part of it, you will check it. Is it matching? It is matching. So again from here you will send one. Is it matching? It is matching. Now you will go to left side of it. Nothing is there, so what should you return back? If nothing is there, just return true back. In the same way, you will go to right side of it. Nothing is there. What should you written back? You have to return true back. For one, you are getting true from left subtree as well as right subtree. So what should you send back to the previous one? Exactly true. In the same way, what will happen? You will send one here. It is matching. From here, you will go to left of it and you will return true. You will go to right of it and you will return true. So from here also you will send true. This side you got true and this side you got true. So what should you send back to this one? True. In the same way what will happen? From this side you are going to return true back. So both left subtree and right subtree are returning true back. So from this you have to return true back. Okay. We will also do the tracing for the second subtree. Alright. So here you will send two to the left side. So, you will again try to go to left of it, nothing is there. So, return true back. You will try to go to right of it, nothing is there. Send true back. So, both sides true. So, what will you do? You have to send true back. Again, here you will send two. You will send two. You will send two. From here, nothing is there. You will return true back. Nothing is there, you will return true back. So, this will be true. But when you come to this side, you can clearly see, right? You are trying to send 2, but it is not matching with the value. So what should we do? Should we continue further? No. You have to immediately send false back. Exactly. So you will send false back. Okay. Now, you are getting true from this side and false from this side. So what should you send back? False. So, right. False back. And... From this side you are getting true, from this side you are getting false. So eventually you will send false back. I hope you are clear with the tracing part. Okay, let's try to put it up. Before you watch the further video, pause it, give it a try. 
All right, let's try to code it up quickly. Okay. So here, what all did we discuss previously? We discussed that we need to send the root value right towards the left subtree and right subtree. So what I'll do is I'll take a new function. Uh, maybe I'll name it as is uni. Okay. So to this, what will I pass? I'll pass root as well as the value of it. Okay. So now I passed it. Whatever this function returns, I have to return it. So boolean is uni to it. You have tree node a and some value of x. Okay. All right. Uh, Now what will we do? We need to check if the current data is matching with x or not. How will we do that? If a value is not matching with x value, you have to return false immediately. So you remember it in the second example when two is not matching with five, you uh, return false immediately. The same thing here. If not, what will we do? We try to check for left subtree of it, right subtree of it. Which function will help us do that? Is uni. So for is uni, you will pass a left and x. Again for is uni, you will pass a right and x. Right. What is the base condition that we need to handle? What is the base condition that we need to handle? Right. If you reach null, if your a becomes null, you have to return true back. So if a is null, you have to return true. That's it. We are done, right? We handled everything. So what are we doing here? We are initially passing root value. Okay. If it is not matching with any of the data, return false immediately. If not, check for the left subtree and right subtree. What is the base case? If your root becomes null, return true back. That's it. So let's try to run it. Done. Let's submit it and see. That's it. It got accepted. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.